so refreshing to be out on the road as just preparing for this from home has been so stressful and worrisome but once you're out on the road that's when the magic happens i discovered that our motorhome has just enough room for us as a family a family of four and it was so amazing waking up to being in the forest and the smell of all the trees just such fresh air i am now so excited for six months on the road we are a family of four who have prioritized adventure, freedom, and happiness over the mundane nine-to-five grind. We've sold our cars, rented out our home on Airbnb, and bought a Class A motorhome to travel throughout Canada and the United States. Woo-hoo! With our 21-month-old Lucia and five-year-old German Shepherd Benny, we've chosen the unconventional route of travel. We know that big magic happens outside of our comfort zones. Even though it's scary to leave the comforts of home behind, we know that as long as we have each other, home is where we are. We are location independent freedom chasers who have built successful businesses and teams that have allowed us to travel full time. Subscribe to our channel for raw, inspiring episodes. Travel along with us as we discover national parks, campgrounds, mouth-watering restaurants, North American cities, and more as a full-time travel family. Come. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Benny. So since we have this big guy along with us, it's really important that we find dog-friendly campsites that not, are not only dog-friendly, but allow German shepherds. Six degrees Celsius. It's pretty cold. I could have used my sleeping bag last night. The motorhome has this furnace, but it's really, really, really loud. It feels like it takes over your soul, so we're using the space heater. Lucy didn't sleep in her little bed here. She joined us for the very first time she slept with us. You can call it the sleeping game. Six o'clock this morning, she touched Ilya's ears and said, oh, wow, nice ears, nice ears. And she's watching songs for little. Nice God bless that Miss Rachel. We're here for the weekend. Yes. Not a happy thing? camper. I don't know why. Say hi, Lucy. Say hi, Grandpa. Mm. Do a little tour of our motor home. Little tour. Little tour. This is the living room, family room with some TV. Lucy's sleeping area, but she didn't sleep here. Hey, where'd you sleep? Mommy, Daddy. This is our table, but right now it was for the dog who is outside having his breakfast or not. Oh, there he is. Everybody's here in the campsite. Here's our kitchen. Making coffee. Coffee is life. Fridge. Life at the beach. Shower. It's our bathroom. Bathroom. And our lovely bedroom that is pretty messy with clothes at the moment it's freezing so we didn't know what to pack and i just packed everything our neighbors and yeah this is what it is here we are everybody oh good morning we're visiting the campground at the end of september early october 
for Halloween weekend. So there's a bunch of festivities coming. And we were delighted with lunch from my old teacher that I stay in contact with. So it was nice to have lunch outside in the fresh air. First afternoon on our KOA campsite in where? Cardinal. Cardinal. Ontario, south of Ottawa. Lucy is sleeping her nap. Woohoo! Yeah, that doesn't happen a lot. It was really easy, right? It was easy. This time. The tent. Yeah, so we bought the slumber pod and are putting her inside the slumber pod so it's pitch black while she's in the tent. Because this is something that really was driving us me crazy. How are we going? What are we going to do? How is she going to nap? Because she's 21 months while we're, when we're going to go traveling full time. So this is like occupies your mind. She's crying. No. Thankfully, the baby was not up and she was sleeping for a good two hours, so it gave us time to relax. She really does, it's been a long two years of being stuck in the house through COVID, through my pregnancy, the lockdowns. So it just feels so liberating that I can spend some time outside. And I know that the baby's going to have a great sleep as she has all the, everything that she needs within the motorhome. Even Benny's going to have the time of his life checking out new dog parks and, of course, mud puddles so this is the time that we got to try out our outdoor shower and clean benny after he jumped in the mud as mentioned it's halloween weekend at koa so there's a contest for the best decorated site there was a halloween walk trick-or-treating in the afternoon there was a 50 50 for the parents there's an ice cream sundae event that you can order on-site pizza and just so much more was happening this weekend um, for the Halloween celebration. It was amazing to be there at this time. Uh, as Lucy really got to experience Halloween more so than she would October 31st uh, at the end of when Halloween really is, as it gets so cold. And here, everybody, all the kids were playing at the parks with all their costumes on and there was just so much stimulation for my little toddler that she learned so much. Of course, she's running around and on me. She does not like the stroller. That's okay, so I get a workout every time I'm with her. And so it's nighttime. Good night. Good morning. Just some chilling in the morning. Lucy slept great her second night. We're watching Miss Rachel again. Gotta love her. Lucy enjoyed this big bouncer. There was one for small kids and one for big kids. Good morning, everybody. So we're at our last night here at KOA and Cardinal, and we just want to give you guys a review of what we thought of the campground. So this was our first time camping in our motorhome, and so it was amazing to meet other, other RVers, other campers who gave us like advice and and you get inspiration on like what to buy for your campsite, like a carpet and like some hanging lights, for example. So as you're starting out, like don't get too overwhelmed. It's like you'll learn as you go. And campers are nice people. So they will always love to help you and help you with kids or play with your baby. Like, whoa, crazy. Yeah, it was really what we had some amazing neighbors and it was just, it gave us like so much courage for going six months traveling. Uh, it was an, an amazing experience. So a great thing about KOAs too is that it's very family friendly. Like there are so many activities, two big parks, bouncy pads. Dog park. And like the organizers of the park do a bunch of stuff as well. So it's really worth looking into the events and, and staying at a KOA. Uh, we also got the KOA rewards membership. So we save 10% each time. Uh, it's already paid off itself actually. <laughs> I would say if you're a first time camper, it's a good place to come and try and experience your rig and see how it all works. And yes, if you travel with the baby, it's a good test run if you have a KOA around your house to go to one of those campsites and check it out. Also ridiculously cold. I think it got to like four or yeah, six four degrees de Celsius four last degrees. night. We're chilly. Um, this is a this is, like normally you don't camp in October, so you won't have to worry about. Lucy she wants to go to the park. Would Lucy say this is a good campsite? Yes, we give it a thumbs up, five stars. We definitely recommend coming to this campsite. It's quiet. It's 
trees smell amazing, some fresh air. Since coming here I'm, and doing a weekend stay, I'm much more courageous and confident and excited for six months traveling in the United States. At least it will be warmer. Thanks for watching. Oh, good job.